Mr Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Premier, we've had high daily COVID case numbers, 700 to 1,000 for more than a week now, and over 51,000 Tasmanians have already been infected. As well as upwards of 2,000 young people infected, schools have been reeling under constant outbreaks. Tasmania is in the middle of rampant COVID transmission, but last Friday you announced the end of universal mask wearing in retail settings. Premier, your whole COVID public health response now relies on having our population fully vaccinated. But no children under 12 are fully protected with the minimum two doses, and one in three Tasmanians over 16 have not had a booster. Premier, universal mask wearing is a baseline protection during an airborne virus epidemic. You've chosen to remove this requirement. Will you release the unredacted advice from the Director of Public Health that you used to make your decision? Good question. Honourable Premier. Speaker, I thank uh, Member for Franklin for that question. I want to make a very clear point on this. Um, unlike other Premiers in other jurisdictions, now I have not distanced myself nor the government uh, from the advice that we've received from the Director of Public Health. In fact, in other jurisdictions, as you would be aware, they have legislated to ensure that the Premier of the day can actually make decisions without <laughs> taking into account public health advice. Now, every step of the way, Mr Speaker, uh, we have acted on public health advice. Mm -hmm. And in terms, of the question, in terms of the question regarding releasing advice, I would make this point very clearly. On Friday, when we stood up and made this announcement, public health were with us and provided provided right. their That's support right. and advice <laughs> on the day, <laughs> Mr every Speaker. Every on the day, Mr Speaker. Um, you know, pu the public health advice is very clear, Mr Speaker, uh, in terms of this, and that we could gradually, gradually look to remove mask wearing, Mr I'm Speaker. Sorry, and we started with, we've started with the lower, lowest risk um, settings in terms of retail, Mr Speaker. Yeah, so um, we have flagged that this Friday, subject, subject to public health advice, that we may take another step, Mr Speaker, which would include cafes and restaurants, Mr Speaker, um, and possibly offices, Mr Speaker. But in terms of the public health advice, um, and I'd be absolutely, no, I want to be absolutely clear about this. I don't need to release the advice yes, because, yes, you do. because the, direct, the acting You're director of public say. health or the deputy director, Mr McEwen, in Dr Veach's absence, Mr Speaker, who wasn't with us on Friday, um, provided that advice exactly. directly at the press yeah, conference, yeah, exactly. as we so have done well. every step of the way. And and that, is, that, is a that is a distinction. The briefing that is a distinction that differentiates yeah, the way that Tasmania and I, as I Premier, think. have managed our way through the pandemic, Mr right. Speaker. Other premiers, other premiers have dislocated themselves You're from public exactly health. What we have every step of the way been with public yeah, health, Mr Speaker, like yeah. and for all of these right. decisions, Mr You're Speaker, public health reality. have been there with us to support uh, their advice and provide their advice, Mr Speaker, and to answer any questions. So, in terms You're of where, in terms of where the member wants to go, home. all I can presume is once again, as they did disgracefully yes, yeah. over the late December and through January period, right. is that they want to attack public health. Yeah. No. But they want to attack public yeah. health, yeah. Mr yeah. Speaker. Um, I would make the point. I would make people. the point, Mr Speaker, that again. Um, the director of Pub the deputy director of public health is clearly on the record last Friday in terms of um, the steps that we're taking, and I'd refer the member to that um, tape. Yeah. Yeah.